my ghost on this episode we get into when a one percenter leaves his club george christie the whole hell's angel situation and we get into it on this episode of demons road tv and oh yeah we ghosting baby Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening, aka Chopper Sosa. I want you to real quick do me a favor, go down right now, I'm gonna link it down. Follow the Sos the Ghost page. We're gonna be posting content on there. Your boy out here in the rain, getting it in for y'all, putting in that hard work. It's a new year, we're gonna go hard. And the topic we're gonna talk about today got stemmed from the George Christie interview that he did on Discovery Channel, which most people do when they leave a club and they're disgruntled, they bash the club that they were in. So we're gonna get into that, but the first thing I want you to do is to hit me with that pound, ghosting, and that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or basically even if you don't ride and you're just part of the Demons Road community. Yo, listen, hit me with a pound. I don't ride too. If you fuck with Demons Row and you watch the show but you don't ride or you're about to ride, I just want to gauge how many people actually watch the show that don't even ride. Because a lot of people are telling me that they just like the show and they don't ride and that's all love and respect. Shout to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the row. A lot of new people every day is expanding. Now let's get into it. When a one percenter leaves his club. Now the first thing I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna get into the whole Discovery Channel, the Angels Code, the whole interview with George Christie. So my opinion on this whole George Christie thing is he allowed whatever tensions he had with his brothers, with his club, when he left, whether he was right or whether he was wrong or whether they was right or they was wrong he used that to target mc culture he used his anger to let the media once again target mc culture and it's the same situation it's constantly someone that leaves a club that's disgruntled or an informant a rat it's the same bullshit and he allowed them to jam him up in that situation in his anger towards his former club and this is a problem that I see with a lot of people that leave clubs with the club and with the people that leave the club if this person was supposedly so so soft or such a bitch ass why did you have him down with your club why did he prospect why did he make it through that phase and for the person that left if the club was all this and that why were you down with it you know what I mean? Keep it real. And listen, when you leave a club, have some class. And this is to everybody that leaves any type of club. This, this applies to any club. This isn't just 1%. Any club, have some fucking dignity. When you leave a club, if you once ran with somebody, if I ran with a club and, and I wasn't around anymore, I'm not going to bash them. I'm always going to big them up. You can't. That shit is lame. Like, you ran with them. Anything that's associated with them, everybody stops fucking with somebody and they're a rat, they're this to that. So why was you hanging with him? If you know he's a rat, why was you hanging with him? And vice versa, if you thought the club wasn't about that life or whatever, why was you repping the club for so such a long amount of time? This is what people constantly do in clubs. And listen, when you leave a club, hand in your cut. Don't make the sergeant of arms come see you for it. Cause then you paint the club out as an aggressor. No, you stop being in your feelings. When you leave a club, hand your cut in. 
hand any hats, shirts, any of that stuff. You hand it in out of respect for the club. I don't care what you bought. And listen, I got one major thing that I don't like that a lot of MCs that I've seen that people have done. A lot of one percenters, not so much, but a lot of clubs. And it's given when you hand your, your um, patches in, you cut them off the vest and just hand the patches in. Listen, when you hand in your shit, hand in your whole vest. Why are you cutting the patches off? You're gonna wear, what are you gonna do? Patch another club's patches on top of that cut? Let's get into why one percenters leave clubs. Now, one topic is club hoppers. Club hoppers are some of the worst, dirtiest, lowdown motherfuckers in the game. Now, I don't consider you a club hopper if you move from a lower level, like if you move from a RC and you go 1% or you go MC and you go 1% and you move up. I don't consider that a club hopper. I consider that you graduate into another level or you want a certain commitment. That's cool. Club hopper is you don't like a certain person in your club but you're not seeing eye to eye with your president. Instead of working shit out, you run and jump to another club. You got a lot of people that are club hopping just because their number, their club might be decreasing in size and it's more popular to get down with another club or another club is more famous in their eyes. So they choose that club and they patch into that club. A lot of people leave clubs because the brotherhood aspect isn't what they signed up for. A lot of brothers came in with good intentions and they're like, you know what? I want to be part of this brotherhood. And then the deeper they got in, they realized it wasn't what they signed up for. That's the reason why a person will leave a 1% club. When you leave a 1% club, those tattoos, if you get tattoos, those got to come off. You're going to have to cover them. Some clubs, they'll have the tattoo artists that'll cover them. Some will give you some time to get it covered up. And I'm not going to get on here and talk this Sons of Anarchy, take your shit off with an iron or burn you shit. Like, I'm not going to come on here and promote that on Demons Row TV. They're going to make you cover your shit up or you yourself should know that you should cover it up. Bottom line, if you leave a club, have dignity, have respect for yourself. Hold yourself like a G. Listen. I'm not in the club no more for personal reasons. Even if it was, even if they backstabbed you, whatever. You don't have to go around promoting that shit. Just, yo, listen, I had to go my own separate ways. I had certain issues that I had to deal with, family issues, whatever it may be. People don't need to know your personal business. You don't need to down anybody when you leave these clubs. Let me know in the comments what you think about what I said about leaving a 1% club. There's so many topics that we can cover in this topic so and tell me how you feel about the george christie thing because i know it's been out there and and i really don't respect talking like if somebody's not in that circle anymore i don't respect downing them because at one point those were your brothers listen it's cold out here and it's rainy but your boy got that demon's roll hoodie on cop the merch y'all been copping a lot of merch and i love y'all for that for supporting the show supporting the role Follow the Sos the Ghost channel. I'm gonna link it once again. Follow the Sos the Ghost channel. I'm gonna be dropping a lot of shit on there very soon. As soon as I cross a lot of y'all over. Thank you for tuning in to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. No, oh, yeah, we ghosting, baby.